to Entertainment Gist. My name is Jennifer Obuse, aka Simple Woman by Nature. And I love to keep things simple, despite things that are happening currently in Nigeria and in the world. Here are the headlines. Kanye West Twitter account compromised. Lizzie and Jory snatched our husband. Banti Maya's song, I Can't Kill Myself from All Gyms, Sakodi. So much is currently happening in the Big Brother Naja lockdown. Let's go on a break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Promo, promo, promo. Swift Dry Cleaner has brought an amazing opportunity to its esteemed and soon-to-be customer as we offer a first-class dry cleaning service. If you work with us and your transaction is up to 10,000 naira, you get to watch 10 children casual wears or 5 adult casual wears for free from 1st July to 31st July. For more information, contact us at number 12 Olowara Road by First Welder Bus Stop of Isheri behind Omole Phase 2. Welcome from that beautiful break. So let's talk about Kanye West, whose Twitter account got compromised. And we are not just talking about Kanye West. So the likes of Barack Obama, Joe Biden, and other big personalities in the world, their Twitter accounts got compromised. And this was done by Bitcoin hackers, people who actually got access into the accounts and tried deceiving a lot of people. And guess what? These guys made over a hundred and twenty thousand dollars from just this you know this fraudulent act that was actually done by them or perpetrated by them we also had the likes of twitter who is actually saying yes we got to the point where we have to lock the accounts of those whose twitter account got compromised and not just those whose twitter account got compromised we are also locking the account of verified users because we need to ensure that we take a lot of security measures to ensure that this does not happen again and this is the first time it's actually happening to twitter as a company a lot of people are saying but it did not affect donald trump yes and the reason why it did not affect donald trump it's because back in the day something actually happened to donald trump where his private social media handle was hacked and a lot of things were done well the government or should i say the security agency in the us of a decided to take drastic measures in ensuring that they protect his account so his account is seriously protected so it's going to be very difficult to hack into his account because it's being guided daily and twitter is promising to give us a lot of updates concerning what's happening and the measures they are taking and also if they get to catch this you know these people who decided or who have decided to make sure or to ensure that they take a lot from innocent people well twitter is telling us that they would update us so for those of you who are actually trying to buy a bitcoin twitter is not the platform right now where you go do that so twitter is saying we are taking a lot of security measures right now and we are wondering who's actually doing this because a lot of people have labeled nigerians to be fraudulent people i hope this is not happening from our angle so that we can actually vindicate our country now let's go into lizzie and jory newly wedded lizzie and jory is getting a lot of backlash because she has been called out saying you married five women's husband i don't know how a man will say, I'm married to this one, 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 I'm married to this one. Well, Lizzie and Jory got a lot of backlash after posting a wedding picture, which was recently done. And her husband, Latif Lawal, is being said, you're married to five women and you have a three-month-old baby. And I don't know why you go ahead getting married. Lizzie and Jory did not find this funny. And she came out to say, I did not marry someone else's husband. And if you have a marriage certificate to prove that my husband has been your husband at one time, then, or not, she's not even saying at one time, if you know you have a marriage certificate proving that you've been married to my husband or you are married to my husband, then come out. Remember when Mercy Johnson also got married, we had a case like this where a woman called Mercy Johnson out for marrying her husband. Well, Mercy Johnson said, provide a marriage certificate and I would step down. But if you have nothing to prove that you've been married to my husband, then you have nothing to say to me. And guess what? No marriage certificate was produced and that case just just died down so i think 
I do have a feeling that probably that's what is happening to Lizzie Anjuri. And we all know that Lizzie Anjuri has been at log ahead a lot of her colleagues in the industry. So we do not know where this is coming from. But Lizzie Anjuri is saying, I've known this man for 14 years. And what our journey, our journey, our story, our love story has been, okay, la, she said, our story has been one of loyalty and love. He's been with me through thick and thin. This is a man who got me a car while I was dating another guy. And that other guy I was dating stole the car from me. A lot of people mocked him saying, why are you still with this lady? This is also the same man who has said to me at one time, I can sell my kidney. I can give up my kidney to ensure that you become the woman you desire to be. She also said something. She said, my mom, her late mom, also knows about this man because her mom blessed this relationship before passing away. So I don't know why people will come out to say, oh, you've been married. Although a lot of pictures also came out saying these are the women we're talking about. So we don't really know how true this is. And Lizzie Anjari said, if my husband eventually, I discover he, that there are kids outside or there are baby or babies. In fact, she made it, she wrote it baby or babies. And a DNA test can prove that he is the father of the child. Come on, my house is wide enough to accommodate 10,000 children, so I don't know why I would not accept whatever comes our way because we are together. She's saying this relationship is till death do us part and we are going to live as long as 200 years. And Lizzie is saying, if you know you have something because she said, I'm a celebrity, I'm a role model to a lot of people. I do not support bigamy. Yes, she said she do not support bigamy and she is not going to be one person who will tarnish her image just to get married. So if you have an issue with her or you have a reasonable proof that you know her husband her current husband's wife or you have a marriage certificate to show then come along then that's the only reason or that's the only time lizzie intends listening to any other person or anyone but before then or before that if you do not have any information or you don't even have any proof stay away from her because she intends marrying this man and she intends enjoying this marriage let's go on a break we'll be right back don't go anywhere this is entertainment gist my name is honorable richard daniels i urge you please to keep on watching ibrand tv welcome back from that break yes so much is happening and i enjoy doing what i do and everyone knows how much i love to talk about whatever people post on social media now sakodi sakodi is saying banti maya song i can't kill myself because it's actually not helping people who go to the gym yes a lot of people who go to the gym probably in the course of doing their workouts gets to say oh i can't kill myself thanks to timaya who has actually made us know or who has actually made it know that oh more you can't kill yourself so he said it's not helping people's morale when they're in the gym working out it actually helps them to feel so relaxed so we need to ban Timaya song, I can't kill myself. Timaya has really not said anything. So I feel Sakodi was just joking around because if Sakodi wasn't joking around, trust me, Timaya would put Sakodi where he belongs, in fact. So Timaya has not said anything. So I feel Sakodi is actually joking and Timaya caught that also as a joke. But guess what? Also, that particular tweet got over 2,000 people 2000 people actually liked the tweet it had 6000 plus retweets and 30000 followers actually showed their love for the tweet so i don't i think a lot of people are actually feeling that this song shouldn't be in the gym because it's actually not helping us too and we all know um comedians all over nigeria comedians have been making a lot of jokes about the tight does i can't kill myself <laughs> thing whenever they get into the gym and probably want to crack a joke i watched a particular video where a comedian was gymming and he kept a very big burger and a very big bottle of soft drink while working out he decided to take a little rest he took his burger he ate his burger and took a drink to you know step it down so i think that's the reason why sakodi is saying we don't need this song in the gym so that we can actually build ourselves well so timaya i hope you understand that they are not saying it from probably a bad place this talk is actually not coming from a bad place it's actually just saying that let's take it away you know so that we can walk out and keep the muslims women love to see so much
much is happening currently in the Big Brother Naja 2020. It seems this one is going to be, you know, tough because we have different kinds of we have different personalities the personalities i'm currently seeing on big brother nadia is so amazing i love dorothy who actually came into the house you know with a very big <laughs> she's saying i came with a very big orange so if that is what i'm going to use in getting the 85 million naira so be it we have the likes of Ozo who is so cute i'm calling the names of people who are actually currently trending on social media right now we have nengi who was actually called out for saying why do you keep lying about your age you said you were 23 when you went for the most beautiful girl nigeria in 2017 and today you're saying you're 22 we need to check you out girl we need to check you out you are lying in fact people are actually calling her a liar currently on social media we have the likes of praise who was asked are you in a relationship or what's your relationship status and he said i am single well you know how nigerians know how to go dig your father's destiny out or your ancestoria story out well they went and got or found out that Praise has a child and he's been engaged or he is engaged to a woman. We don't know if he was engaged or if he's still currently engaged to the lady. But come on. Anyway, at the end of the day, is a game. My personal life ain't your business. So I think he decided to keep his personal life private. We also have the likes of Lekon. Come on. Lekon is said to be the best graduating student of the University of Lagos in 2016. So you can imagine we're having someone who is so intelligent. And I know that, you know, it's not just intelligence or your intellectual capability that keeps you somewhere or keeps you in a place or makes you excel in a place. You need to also be smart. So I hope he brings in intelligence and smartness together so that he can go home with the 85 million naira so that's all that's currently happening in the big brother niger has and i'm going to keep updating you with so many juicy things well dorothy is currently you know showing off her bust so i hope you guys don't stay glued to that one there's so much more there's so other personalities that you need to get to know and the beautiful the thing about this year's big brother is that they are very beautiful the girls are so beautiful and the guys are so happy handsome i think this lockdown because it's the big brother niger lockdown i think this lockdown or during the lockdown they worked a lot on their outward appearance and it's actually beautiful for everyone to see what they've been doing during the lockdown months ago and as big brother decided to say it's big brother lockdown and there is one thing i need to say before i sign up i love the colors you know i love the fact that big brother decided to play with colors when he needed to you know paint the walls and everything i love 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 the colors i don't know maybe because i'm i love colors and i love color combinations i think maybe that's why i love this year's big brother Najaz house i love also the fact that they decided to allow women you know look good so they gave women a beautiful place where they can actually look good like a salon and that was done by an amazing brand i'm not going to call the name of the brand that's all we've got on today's gist on entertainment gist my name is jennifer abuse aka simple woman by nature and you can follow me on my instagram handle at jennifer underscore abuse you'll be wondering how can i follow the amazing ibrand tv just look on the screen and you will see all our social media platforms what i always say to people you need to subscribe so that you can keep getting more juicy gists like this one and then we get to talk about it and don't forget to drop your opinion okay you always have an opinion bye bye from here